kill me? Ah, what the fuck? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am making a video covering how I formatted my manga wall panels on the computer so that they'd be ready to print. I had a lot of questions on how I did this under my other video, so I decided to make like a part two to that. So I hope you guys find this informative, helpful, and let's get on to it. So the document that was just shown before was the Google slide that I used to make my manga wall. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. So the first step is to make your own Google slide and title it or not title it depending on what you want. As you can see, I titled mine Manga Wall and said it was by me just for the purposes of this video, but you can do whatever you like. The next step is for you to go to the help bar and type in page setup. This is so you can change the dimensions of your page. Then you're gonna select custom and put in the dimensions 8.5 by 11. The reason you want to do these dimensions is because this is the size of normal letter paper. If you're not using a normal letter paper printer, then you can use whatever page size that your printer works with or the printer at your library works with. Now that I have my Google slide format all hooked up, I can set it to a blank page and copy and paste that page multiple times so that that's the base and framework of where my manga panels are going to go. Now we're getting to the fun part of choosing what manga pages and panels you want to choose for your manga wall. You can either do this by using Pinterest or Google Photos. I prefer Pinterest because it's a lot easier to find high quality manga pages and panels and you can store them all in your Pinterest folder. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Pinterest and all I'm going to do is search up manga pages, manga panels, or a specific manga series that you want to use for your wall and simply save those. So the two pins I saved made their own folder called Quick Saves. All I did is went back to my profile and changed that name to Manga Wall or whatever other name you want to name the folder. Now I just continue to search for whatever manga panels I want on my manga wall and then simply add them to that folder. After I'm done gathering all the manga panels I want for my wall, I can simply go back to my manga wall folder and look at everything I've gathered up so far. Once I'm happy with the manga panels I've collected, I do a split screen on my computer. This is so half of my computer can show the manga panels in the Pinterest board and the other half can show the Google slide document, which is where I'm going to be putting the manga panels and pages. The next step is how I got all of the manga panels and pages onto my slide. All you have to do is open up the page or panel, click it, drag it, and slide it onto the Google slide. It's that easy. You can do this with all the manga pages and panels that you've collected that are in your Pinterest board. It's really important that you actually click on the photo and make it larger before dragging it into the document. If you don't do that, the photo quality will be low, which means your print quality will be low. So you want to make sure you click on the photo first, make it bigger, and then drag it onto your Google document from your Pinterest folder. There were three ways that I set up my manga wall pages. One way was the cut and paste method, the second way was the whole manga page method, and the third way was the two manga page method. The first method I'm going to show you guys is the cut and paste method. How I do this method is taking small manga panels from different series that I like and putting all of them into one page. This can be any mixture of manga volumes or manga series that you want on one page. It's kind of like a collage of sorts. I try my best to get it to match evenly and connect together cohesively so it looks like one page of manga. So now that I have managed to fit all of the manga panels onto my page, I like to highlight everything and give it all a black border. 
This allows each of the images to look more like a manga page because they have the same border and allows them to look more connected and cohesive. Now I'm just continuing to edit the page to make it look more like a manga page. I also like to edit the brightness and the colors of the photos to make them look more similar, but that's completely up to you. This is the finished setup and the finished page of the copy and paste method. I really like it, I think it looks really cute with all the characters and designs and I'm really happy with how it came out. The next method is the method I use for the manga panels that I really want to stand out on my manga wall and really want to pop and be the center of focus. This method is what I like to call the whole manga page method. It is the simplest method out of the three. It's when you take a whole page or panel of manga and it takes up the whole printable sheet that you're going to print out. The last method is what I like to call the two manga page method. This is when I take two pages from manga and put them into one printable sheet. All I do is I turn both of them landscape so that I can fit two of them into one sheet. It may sound pretty complicated and confusing, but it's actually pretty simple as you see me doing it in the video. Once they're turned landscape, I just adjust it to the size of the paper, center it, and make sure they're all set up, and then I'm finished. So that's it! You guys have seen all the three methods that I used to make my manga wall pages. The copy and paste method, the one whole manga page method, and the two manga page method. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward, and once you get into it, it'll be really fun to do yourself. Those three methods are the only methods that I used in my own personal manga wall printable, which is showing on the screen right now. I will put a PDF of my printable down in the description, but I highly recommend doing your own so that you can have your own customized manga panels and manga pages from the mangas and animes that you love. It's really fun, really easy, really simple with this method, and once you get into it, you'll probably be having a lot of fun and you'll probably finish it in no longer than an hour. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope this video helped clear up some of the questions that were in the comments below my other video. If you want to see how I actually set up this manga wall, go check out my previous video, the DIY manga wall video. And please be sure to follow and subscribe for more content like this, and also comment below any other questions you guys may have about how I did this manga wall, how I set it up, and just how I made it as a whole. Cut the cameras. Dead ass.